Our team, well, just a few minutes ago, you guys remember, Mike and Judy Hall, who they were <laughs> telling us about Rise Against Hunger, but Leah Valentine's Day yes. is right around the corner, so we just have to talk about their love story. Yes, because cause they're doing it right. <laughs> they, they've been together over 40 years. That's all I know. I want them to tell you the rest, so tell us just a little bit about how you met, how this whole thing got started. Okay, so Mike and I were both living in the Roanoke Valley at mm -hmm. the time. And we ended up having a youth conference that the two of us were going to. Mm -hmm. And um, at this time, he and I were put in the same group. Mm -hmm. And um, now, mind you, I had only been separated for a week. Because you guys had both been previously married. We were both previously married. Six months for me. Yes. <laughs> previously. Pretty fresh. And that weekend before was very rough for me. And I just Aww. said, God, you got to help me out. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can take this. And so... Um, that Friday we met, December 5th. How do I remember that day? Ah. <laughs> 40, oh 43 years ago, 40, <laughs> 42 years ago, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, so we met and we were in the same group. And um, do you remember what you said in your mind? <coughs> at the I, time? Really, I, I like some of the things that that, that that lady across over there is saying. I, I, I need to talk to her more. Mm. But then they instructed us, when you go to lunch, don't don't go with the same people yeah. that you've been in the group with. You want with. to meet other with sure. other people. Sure, okay. Well, so he didn't. and I looked at each other and said, now I want to learn about you, so let's just talk. Oh my so, gosh. <laughs> so we went to lunch, um, which is in the same building. You uh -huh. know, we went to lunch together. And it was just like, We'd known each other our whole lives. Oh it was insane and, and sharing stories and all this kind of stuff. And I had been invited to a Christmas party and I was going on a sat on the following the next night, mm -hmm. Saturday night, and I thought, gosh, he'd be fun to go with. So Aww. I actually asked him on the first date. Yes, a oh. queen. <coughs> so <laughs> so I said I said, you know, if you're possibly free tomorrow night, I would love to have you just go with me to a party. It's very low key, all nice. friends, and you know we can we can just go as a, as um, two friends. Mm -hmm. And you know what my response was? Uh, I hope what? he said yes. Maybe. Oh, oh. Ooh. he played hard to get right away. <laughs> oh well, no. Then, well, then I thought maybe I made a mistake. Well, was I not reading this right? Oh. But the but the back to story to that was mm -hmm. I had some friends coming into town, and I did not know when they were coming. Oh, okay. Exactly, and so we were going to go to dinner. So I said, well, after Mim and Daryl uh, come, uh, if there's time, we'll, we'll, you know, I'll call you and we'll, we'll go to the party. So it just so happened that they came in around 4.30 or 5 o'clock. We had dinner together and I called her. And we pretty much then saw each other from that. Every night. Every night Aww. from that day Aww. forward. And from I went home day. at Christmas, uh, which was a two, weeks later. two <laughs> weeks later. And I said to my parents, <laughs> I've, I've, I've met the next woman that I'm going to marry. And she yeah. said to me when I told her that, she said, you said what? <laughs> <laughs> so. I haven't even met them yet. <laughs> oh, oh, he didn't care. Oh, that's so sweet. So a year, a year later, we got married. Amazing. On his parents' anniversary, anniversary um, which was December 20th. Gosh, all those stars aligned, huh? <laughs> well, they did. They December's did. your month, too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. December's yeah. a lucky month for you guys. Yeah. yeah. But one of the interesting things is that Judy had a rash on her hand, and I said to her, uh, like a week after I met her, I said, what, uh, did you burn yourself or something here? He says, no, it's, it's eczema. And when I'm going through a particularly emotional, difficult time, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll flare up. And I said, well, isn't there some medicine or something that you can, that you can put on that? And she says, well, yeah. Uh, she said, but I, d I, just, I just can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And I said, I mean, what, what are we talking? She said, I don't know, $20, $25. So I take out my checkbook. Aww. I write her a check for $25. Aww. And you know what? I've been writing checks ever, ever since. since. <laughs> <laughs> what can I but, say? That's right. but the very best twenty-five dollar investment oh, yeah. I ever made yeah. in my life. Thank you guys for sharing that. Yes. I know we kind of put You're them welcome. on the spot yeah. last minute, having them share their love story. So thank you, and hopefully this inspires you. Yes. Single, looking for the next person. This could be you. That's my goal, <laughs> right? And just you know? say yes. And just say yes. <laughs> just say yes. Say yes. Amazing. Yes. All right. Well, thank you both again so much for what you're doing for the community and for sharing your story with us. Yes. We have some more stories to share with you all when we get back.